Hi everyone, as I promised, I am happy to share that the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines um, Notorial Services has updated its website with um, information on how to obtain and set up an online appointment for a legal capacity to contract marriage for LCCM in Manila U.S. Embassy or Cebu uh, Consulate for U.S. citizen who wish to marry in the Philippines. Hello, by the way, my name is Ruth and welcome to my YouTube channel, Ruth Online Vlog, uh, where I share my experiences as a Filipino who is married to an American uh, citizen. I'm sharing uh, my experience uh, including the Philippine marriage process and its requirements and any new update. Also, my ongoing spousal visa process and more. I hope you'll subscribe, like, and click the notification bell button to stay up to date on my latest uh, videos. T today, I checked the Philippine US Embassy website about their notarial services, and finally, they have a new update and aware for the new PSA memorandum, um, circular number 2023 uh, 15 which is a revocation of local notarization of legal capacity to contract marriage. It means all foreigners getting married in the Philippines may get the legal capacity to contract marriage on their own embassy or consulate here in the Philippines. So let's go. Just open your Google and type legal capacity to contract marriage and then select these options about the notarial services. So here is their website. Um, it says here, while the United States government does not maintain records of marriage, therefore um, cannot produce the certificate of legal capacity to contract marriage required by the Philippine Family Code. Philippine authorities have accepted affidavits by the U.S. citizen to be married in lieu of that certificate. US Embassy is aware of the Philippine Statistic Authority or PSA Memorandum Circular Number 2023-15 effective July 31, 2023, requiring that these affidavits be notarized by the Embassy or the Consular Agency in Cebu. If you require this service, you may schedule an appointment for notarial services at the you um at the embassy or consular agency the fee for notary service is 50 dollars per notary act so it says as well that please be aware that this change in psa policy has significantly increased demand for notary services and appointment availability may be limited the embassy is working to ensure that U.S. citizens wishing to marry in the Philippines can obtain the necessary documents with the greatest possible convenience and at the lowest possible cost. As a result of ongoing staffing um, shortages and the need to maintain social distance in our waiting room, we do not expect to return um, to pre-pandemic appointment level in the near uh, future. This means appointment wait times may be longer than expected. Uh, we will continue to prioritize service um, provision to U.S. citizens with immediate travel plans or for emergency uh, circumstances. So if you plan to get married here in the Philippines, you may book an appointment ahead of time because it's only have um, limited appointment uh, slot and it's first come per serve so let's scroll down and look for the affidavit of legal capacity to contract marriage under uh, other notorial uh, service so here's the instruction so affidavit of legal capacity to contract marriage we encourage u.s citizen to inquire with the local civil registry office where you plan to be married to specify uh, what information might uh, must be included in your affidavit generally an affidavit in lieu of a certificate of legal capacity to marry must contain a sworn statement in which the u.s citizen attests they are free to marry the new update requires you to create your own affidavit or click here for a sample blank um, affidavit um you can find a sample blank here you um, just copy 
paste and edit the sample to fill out your U.S. citizen information. Then bring the affidavit to the U.S. Embassy but do not sign it yet. You will need to sign it in front of the notarizing agent in the U.S. Embassy. I will include a link to the ready to fill out affidavit I created um, in the description of this video as well as the link to the U.S. Embassy update on notarial services and how to set up an appointment. Next is you will also need to provide information about any prior marriages. So this could include a divorce decree if you are divorced, a death certificate of your previous spouse if you are widow, or annulment paper if you are annulled. Also, you will need to provide a copy of your evidence of U.S. citizenship. This could be a U.S. citizen birth certificate if you were born in the U.S., a naturalization certificate if you are a naturalized uh, U.S. citizen, and of course, your U.S. passport. Next is how to set up an online appointment. So here you may see this notarization of U.S. government forms. Notary appointments are available in Manila between 12 to 45 p.m to 2.30 p.m. and in Cebu between 9.15 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Monday through Friday except for U.S. and uh, Philippine holidays. You may click the link to schedule an appointment via Manila Online Appointment System and or Cebu Online Appointment System here or in the top. They are the same. So example, you wish to set up your appointment in Manila, U.S. Embassy, then select Manila Online Appointment System. Then uh, click Make Appointment. Select Request Notorials and Other Services not listed above. Click the box to indicate that you have read and agree with the instructions. Then click Submit. Select the available appointment date that you prefer. Yellow dates are available, uh, blue dates are fully booked, and gray dates are not opened or have passed already. For example, um, you would like to select August 11, 2023, 12.40 p.m. Um, so then enter all your information like the applicant's uh, surname, applicant given name, applicant date of birth, the date, month, and year, and then um, contact telephone number, your email address, um, country of citizenship, then country of birth, your gender, passport number, and retype the code from the picture. This after entering the required information, check the I agree box and click continue. Example, this is the information of the U.S. citizen, so click submit. There you go, we have successfully booked an online appointment. Uh, please uh, print this page to bring with you to appear in the uh, embassy or consulate. To cancel the appointment, click here, this uh, blue link. Enter the information from your appointment slip. Uh, click confirm to cancel the appointment and that's all um, I hope this video has been helpful uh, don't forget to subscribe like and click the notification bell to stay up to date on my future um, updates and videos thank you for watching and bye